Hey Smallers, use these codes for extra money and there's some more in the description. Now let's let the rats out. So this is the project I've been working on this weekend. I bought some more land and now we're gonna expand the tiny jail we built last episode. Please watch till the end for the finished tour. I was grinding all day yesterday so it was kind of sad seeing all my hard work escape but the progression was worth it. Everyone is free now. Side note, my hair is super long and I need to cut it. I wouldn't mind looking like the prisoners with the buzz bald cuts either. I had 75 prisoners in my money farm. I think the max is 85. I'm not sure. I stopped because it was super laggy. I'm surprised the servers can handle this much memory compared to a few years ago. Actually, they added descriptions to the items and workers to keep track of how much items and workers you need to make your prisoners not have nightmares. I saw it on a pinned message on their Discord too. So for every 5 prisoners, you need 1 guard and for every 15 prisoners, you need 1 chef. You also need to make sure you have enough fridges, sinks, and stoves too. Apparently, janitors aren't useful yet. They do keep your place clean, but the prisoners don't get mad about all the litter. TLDR, you just focus on having enough amenities and read each item's description for helpful info. It took me 4 hours to get them all, all the 85, into the prison. I kept waiting until they were asleep because I was scared they would start a riot. Most of them were the pink security level prisoners. My plot was the furthest. I had to keep driving back and forth with the SWAT van. It was kind of fun. I was just listening to music in the background mindlessly. No thoughts in my head. It was a nice escape from everything. My laptop was pretty loud. The fans were probably overheating and stuff. It, it doesn't help that it's like 100 degrees. This is probably where the limo or military truck would come in handy. A 6 capacity is not bad. I would use the long car and the other tiny one too and in total it'd be 10 prisoners that I could just bring and it would be nighttime already. There was these random system messages that kept popping up probably by the developer and it pranked us by saying there was a massive riot and that almost scared me. I was really paranoid and kept checking if there were escape tunnels. I would have bought repairmen but the extra like $20 per minute is not really worth it especially if the prisoners are already happy. Let's talk about the new update. There's security levels now. Small, medium, and high. You can research them for 50k and 1 million and you'll be able to capture better criminals. I don't know why it's so expensive though. I had, I had to wait 17 minutes and then an extra 2 hours for the research to be completed. It's in the corner of the map near the city and you'll see a bunker near a burnt down helicopter. Inside there's lasers, cameras, and switches you have to go through. They're not that hard. Honestly, I walked through them while getting hurt, but just keep a lookout on your health bar. It took me about 30 seconds to a minute to load each prisoner in the car. If you're good at hobbies, this is your time to shine. There's like 3 buttons where you have to hold E for a few seconds. That's probably the only tedious part about it. Just be patient. Honestly, I don't know if it was worth it. The medium pink prisoners give $15 and the high purple prisoners give $20. A small reward for a super tedious investment and then they need extra furniture too, like the towers, which cost 250k, and exercise mats. If anything, I wish they were all cheaper. Apparently people are, were complaining before the update that the game progresses too fast, so I can understand why everything's pretty expensive. I even bought the money fountain pass. It spawns $10 bills that you have to pick up manually. I'd say it's worth it in the beginning, but Eventually, AFKing would be more efficient. I have a cool research idea that they could add. Um, how about something that allows you to arrest and carry multiple prisoners at the same time? It's pretty repetitive and time consuming going back and forth. They can even turn it into a game pass if they wanted to and give more bonuses to the VIPs. Cause right now you just get a name tag and this cool limo. 
but the other military truck is probably worth it. I hope the developers are watching this or taking some feedback on Discord and Twitter. This game is still in beta after all, so obviously nothing is going to be perfect. I just left my computer on with an auto clicker for two days, ripped my battery quality, and I don't know how my laptop has managed to stay strong after four years. I really need to invest in a PC soon. Maybe for a Black Friday sale later in November, I will. Let's talk about this prison's layout. Honestly, I just YOLO'd it and didn't do anything or any planning beforehand. I didn't want it to be symmetrical, so I put the parking lot and entrance on the side. There was a lot of space even without the extra plots. I probably should have put the guard towers a bit further from the fence. I used cobblestone for pathing and added lots of crap. This time, there's a lot more buildings. I can definitely fit at least 40 prisoners in here. For lag and the tour purposes, I only added 15. There's a main security slash office area for the guards. Cafeteria that's not oddly shaped this time. A recreation center for phones. A center gym to play basketball. Bathrooms in the corner and then the jail cells. I like the outdoor stairs. Definitely more cramped than I thought it would be, but there's not much I could use to decorate them. I started to realize I'm probably gonna have to farm money again for the next update, and I like that you can put fences on the roofs now. I added lots of picnic tables outside and trash cans because they litter too much. I like the animations and how they actually do push-ups and stuff on the equipment. Okay, that's enough of me talking. Enjoy the tour. I had a lot of fun and continue to have a lot of fun playing these grid-based building games, and I hope you do too. Stay inspired. Goodbye!